think I was telling that uh, the women, they have more patience. I think he has not yet married. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> you think. <laughs> so I discovered from Murphy Prime's statement, so this is a new thing. <laughs> Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. <laughs> جهد البلاء ودرق الشقاء وسوء قضاء وشماتة الأعداء أو كما قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم First of all, I would like to thank uh, Muslim Student Association of Science and uh, Science and Technology University of Hong Kong and uh, then I would like to congratulate all the students who have made a platform to sit together and discuss their own issues. So this is a good thing. And uh, this is a great uh, path that you have chosen, seeking of the knowledge. And you have left your home country. And you have arrived here just to seek the knowledge. And indeed, it is uh, your should be your goal to achieve a degree and then to serve the humanity. As we being a Muslim, the words that I have recited, uh, we believe in, in one prayer from that we spread all over the world and that is Adam and Eve, Adam and Hawa. And Islam is a religion that has said all human beings, they are worthy of respect and they deserve honor because they are human beings. So in this relation, we are all like brother and sister, whatever the religion someone has. But indeed, being a Muslim, uh, we have to recognize other people, and as well as we have to prove ourselves that uh, the message we are carrying, we have received, it is the best message for all mankind, for all human beings. So the leadership quality we have to create within ourselves. And the stories of uh, the previous Prophet and the stories of Rasulullah tells us and the first we should be a good man and then we should prove that we are giving the benefit to others mostly when we leave when we leave our homes and country then we think we are going to get the benefit indeed we should have some goal and purpose of leaving our own area and country but the, the person, if he thinks after getting the knowledge or degree, then he will have a good earning and he will have good job and he will have good salary. Mm. These things, it should be kept in secondary. But the first thing, what I can deliver to the world, what I can serve to human being, to mankind, this thing should be kept in our mind as a Muslim. And the second thing, when we leave our home, in, in the age we are, I'm talking about you, not myself, I am the older. But as a young, as a youth, then you have different opportunities. And so the first thing that you have to observe for yourself, that is the self-control. The, the biggest quality of a leader is self-control. If someone is proving that he can control himself, then he can control others. 
If someone cannot control his own desire and his own self, then he cannot lead others. So for the leadership, the first and the basic quality is self-control. So this is the quality that is required. Sometimes, especially those who grown up in a confined uh, atmosphere, conditions, when they leave these kind of condition and they reach at a place their freedom is observed and seen sometime they think now they are free whatever they can do they will do so this approach is not good so we have to look first our own self how we are proving ourselves at a person responsible a person who has some responsibility and some uh, something that he has to prove. So being, being a Muslim as attaining in the defensive position. So we always, every one of you, and I believe you would have uh, faced this condition, the people are asking, is it Islam? Is it is it the way, the teaching of Islam? <coughs> Violence, terrorism, killing, destruction. So, personally, myself, and definitely you would have faced a lot of questions from your friends, from your colleagues, from your classmates. So, we are standing in defensive position. We are saying, no, this is not the religion. This is not the truth. This is not the fact. This is not... Islam is the, is the religion of peace. Islam is the religion of uh, tolerance. Islam is the religion of uh, accepting and love. So, so in this scenario, in this condition, we have to prove ourselves that we are responsible person and we are the one who have in, in our heart love and respect for others. So these things we have to observe. And I can quote uh, some personalities in the history of uh, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Rasulullah Sallallahu appointed a young person. His name is Jafar. And he is the cousin of Rasulullah Sallallahu And he left Mecca, reached Habsha. And because of this young man, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's picture, image, and the image of the follower of followers of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam was accepted before the king, and king was respectful for Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and not only respectful, he hiddenly accepted Islam and believed in Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam because of the effort and struggle of a young man. So you and you would have heard many stories. The Muslim went Indonesia without fighting. The people embraced Islam due to the akhlaq and the morality of the first comer from Arab. And as they reached to Indonesia, Malaysia, in this area, Southeast Asia, here Islam uh, did not reach with the power, with fighting. It reached with from the traders. So as they look, the people at that time, they look at the behavior, at the dealing, and they impressed. And they said they are the best, and they are the angel. So they believe. So they embraced Islam. But sometimes I think, and you should think, that we have left our home and country, and we reach here, and how many people are convinced, are impressed from us? from our behavior. So there is something lacking. Either we are not confident on ourselves or we are not proving that we are the good people. So we should be proving ourselves that we are the one that are not only accepted, the people should love us. So how the people uh, love others, they definitely when you have no expectation or uh, receiving any 
material benefit, you should try to give them some benefit and you should prove yourself you are sportive and helping others so the people should have trust and confidence on you. So the first, this is the first thing that we should realize. When Jafar Tayyar, then he spoke before a king. So he was a representative of Rasulullah At that time, the Muslim community was a youngest community and growing and in a small, they have no many people at that time. But at that time, how Jafar convinced a king that, that he was, he was in, in spite of that, the condition of Jafar Tayyar was as a, uh, as a political asylum seeker. And today, in this country, many political asylum seekers are living here. So, and you just think, the Muslims were at that time in Harsha as a political asylum seeker, a religious asylum seeker. And how they convinced a king, and king embraced Islam. Another example of a young and the youth. Hazrat Musa ibn Umar, and he was the companion, and young compa companion of Rasulullah when the people, some people from Medina, they came to Mecca, and they embraced Islam on the hand of Rasulullah and they requested to send a person who could teach them Quran and the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Musa ibn Umar spent only one year in Medina, and he made efforts to convince Islam is a religion of human being. Islam is a religion of mankind. Islam is not only for the Muslim. Islam is a religion that can support and build a, div, uh, a progressive uh, community in the, in, in the area, in the city. Then they not, not only embraced Islam, and they invited Rasulullah The next year, the people came to Rasulullah and requested that we want to bring you from Makkah to, to Yathrab. At that time, it was called the Yathrab. Then Rasulullah decided to move from Makkah to Medina, to Makkah to Yathrab, and ask the companion to, after getting all confirmation, so you, you, you can prove, or you can give any example in the world that a huge uh, immigration or the migration is accepted and uh, then after not only accepted and they made the leader to those who are immigrant. Indeed, there are many countries even today, they are accepting immigrants and they are giving the benefits, but they are not making them their own leader. So this is the this is an example, an efforts of uh, a young man that he convinced that Muhammad وسلم, is a person who could lead you and who could give you benefit. Then Rasulullah reached and he made a pact that is called Mithaq Madina and famous, I believe you would have uh, read uh, the uh, seerah of Rasulullah and that is proven uh, that was the pet for all the people and the, the concept of citizenship can, can be taken from this pet and it is also again from uh, Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. so the uh, 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 effort of a person, a youth can change the scenario and the history and that is why it was so important this point of the migration uh, from Makkah to Medina that Omar Farooq then he conquered uh, 2.2 million uh, square meter land and when he was deciding the point of uh, the year calendar so he started the calendar from immigration from the migration migration from Makkah to Medina the reason because this was the point when everything was changed and uh, Islam that was only the name of prayer before coming to Medina. Now the fasting, commandment of fasting, the commandment of zakat and jihad and other, all other and hajj, it, they are all coming uh, from 
heaven uh, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to Rasulullah sallam in the period of Medina. So Medina gave thing and this was the point, this was the place where the Allah's book was practically established in Mecca. It was not a scene. It was the religion was practiced individually. But as a community, it was practiced and established in Medina. And Medina, as Rasulullah established Islamic State, not the Islamic State like ISIS, killing of the people and getting the benefit. Everyone, everyone was living side by side with love and respect and with mutual cooperation and uh, coordination. So this was an example. But again, it was based on the effort of a youth. That was Musab ibn Umair. So today, as we are here, first we should have self-confidence and self-control. And the second, we should prove ourselves that we are not only getting the benefit, we want to give something to others. So at the same time, we have to practice our religion. Because if we are leaving our religion and adopting other, I'm not against to uh, integrate into the local society. That must be done. Rasulullah asked the companion to learn the language of other community. So it is the good thing. And if you have come here to learn uh, something to get the degree, it is again the sunnah of Rasulullah So al hikmatul mumin. So wherever you can find the knowledge and the wisdom, you have to take. Even Rasulullah asked his companion to learn something from the prisoner of war who were non-Muslim. They were in the custody of Rasulullah and the companion of Rasulullah but they were assigned the duty to teach the Muslims. So Muslim can learn the knowledge from any person irrespective of religion and ethnic background. So we have to learn the lesson from the life of Rasulullah So we have to give benefit, we have to take the benefit indeed, and we we have to uh, keep our link with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when and Islam is a religion that emphasizes on Iman bil ghayb And Iman bil ghayb itself creates in, in the mind and the heart of a person the self consciousness the self-control that here I'm crossing the red light I'm looking right and left there is no policeman I can I can cross because no one will catch but being a Muslim he always look on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he is always looking everyone as a girl when she was she was instructed by her mother to put in us how I can add the water in the bay? She said that Umar is not watching. The reply that she gave to her mother, O oh my mom, Umar is not watching, but the Allah of the Umar is watching us. So this was uh, uh, the belief and faith. So that is required. That is needed today. We have to create in ourselves. And if we have, then we have to promote and we have strengthened this. So we have to uh, to be faithful with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and we should be sincere with our institution where we are getting the knowledge and we should be sincere with our colleague, with our friend and we should be supportive and help him, help, helpful for others. So this is a, a definition of a Muslim. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us topic. If you have question, I will be happy to answer your question. Thank you very much for being I uh, would like to thank the Arshad for coming here and sharing uh, pieces of wisdom uh, with us today. We talked about the importance of education, the importance of good character, morality for Muslims, and most importantly, he talked about uh, for a Muslim how important is it to think for him.